If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to become part of this community. So last Friday, Slime Language 2 dropped, the very much anticipated new album from Young Thug and the whole YSL roster that we've all been waiting for for forever now. I have made so many videos covering this thing that I can't even count them anymore. I made a playlist though, so go check out my Slime Language 2 playlist if you kind of want to go over the whole uh, chronology of how we you know talked about the album and when we thought it was gonna drop but we finally got it and this is not my review of it I still want to drop a in-depth review and kind of go into um, all the different songs and features and artists we had on here and how it evolved from the first one today I want to talk about something that I read on double XL and this more so concerns the relationship between Young Thug and his YSL members. Not necessarily just YSL members, but just the people that he collaborates with. So, one thing I want to mention, you know, from the get-go is that this new album is not just Young Thug and YSL Records or Young Stoner Life, but rather this new Slime Language 2 compared to the first one now also lists Gunna as one of the, you know, main artists that published this thing. If you look on Spotify, if you look on Apple Music and all the streaming, it's always Young Stoner Life, Young Thug, and Gunna, which is new because Gunna used to never appear in there. He was always just a feature. But this time he is kind of like the co director in a way besides Young Thug on this new thing which uh, I gotta give props to Gunna for you know staying true to his um, you know to his mentor Young Thug and really working his way up there also a detail that I saw on uh, YouTube because they dropped a video for Ski um, in the title it didn't say Young Thug featuring Gunna uh, Ski but it said Young Thug and Gunna and that's just something that I thought was worth mentioning because um, Gunna has always been viewed as like the you know kind of his uh, Young Thug's apprentice but has now maybe worked his way up to a possible um, heir to the throne in a way for that YSL spot so that's very interesting now also under under like the video and the picture that they released on Instagram when announcing the album a lot of people also said, oh, this is a proud father moment for Young Thug because he can see all his, you know, all the artists that he's been fathering for so long. He can kind of see them now be successful and um, maybe take his spot one day just like he's doing with Gunna. And maybe in a couple of years time, this will all make sense to us in retrospect. And um, that's what I think is really commendable. I like that Thugger has kind of like a, a year long vision for this that is not just about trying Trying to put on artists that are popping right now, um, but rather really fostering that relationship and, you know, one day thinking of having them take over the empire that he built, which in this case, he's doing the first step with putting Gunna on here as also an artist releasing this. But now getting into this thing that I read, uh, which I, which, you know, inspired me to even think about this whole thing and now share my thoughts with you is um, that after... He dropped Slime Language 2 on that day. Thugger appeared on Zane Lowe's Apple Music 1's um, daily podcast. Um, or as you know, it's like a little show they do on Apple Music. Uh, Gunna was also there. I think it's worth mentioning because, I, you know, uh, he's, he's just besides Thugger uh, in the interview, which I thought was really cool. Um, and Thugger kind of explained his relationship with a lot of people that are also featured on the album. And I think his statements are very interesting. For example, he said, I'm ready to die about future. I'm ready to die by a little baby, Dirk and Uzi. I'm ready to die by these people. You know what I'm saying? If it ever comes down to it, this stuff ain't got nothing to do with no music. They was a part of the whole situation. There was a part of the whole thing. I always, anybody who I had encountered, you know what I'm saying? I always turn them to family. We don't look at them like a rapper. We all look at each other like brothers and sisters. Bro, we really argue every day. So this is something that, of course, supports the statements that I made earlier. Um, it kind of made me think about this whole thing because this truly is beautiful, I believe, to, to you know have a relationship with fellow artists 
that just goes further than just, oh, send me that verse. But that's right, like, oh, we're a family that's like, you know, making music, you know, even having more than music, a movement. Thugger has, um, you know, clothing lines with, with a Spider. So I like that he's trying to create something that's more than just the product of music that we just always see on the surface, but that's something that runs deeper. He also said, um, you know, Concerning the, the recording process of SL2, he said, It seemed like a show. It seems like a Lollapalooza, Coachella. It just seemed like a show. Every moment was performing. Those was more than a performance. You got to show up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's watching there. Everybody there. Everybody in your stuff. Everybody in your face. You got to show up. It just felt like that. Every moment. So uh, that's kind of like, I think it's also very interesting to kind of see what he uh, what the behind the scenes process was i still believe that we're going to get like a documentary documenting how the whole album was made because there was you know scenes like that were already in the trailer for sam language tooth so i think they're going to drop a you know a full length maybe half an hour documentary probably this friday just kind of like for the fans um but again you know going back into or to what i was saying when you think of these rappers he mentioned baby future Durkio, for example that also made me think about, you know, Durkio has his whole OTF stuff. Like, he, he's only about the family. It's only the family. That's, like, his whole thing. And I like that um, Thugger is keeping people like that close and also making them family. Because I think if you just have that feeling, you know, reciprocated, then this is something that will allow them to make even better music in the future. That's why I'm so, uh, I'm so you know, happy that they have a relationship like this. I think it is um, really commendable that Thugger is saying this. I think it's really commendable that Thugger is also, you know, putting himself in the position where he's saying like, oh, maybe Gunna is the next one on the YSL throne. And he knows that his days are not endless. He knows that his, you know, position in the rap game will one day, you know, fade and fall off. And that's why he's taking these, you know, kind of precautionary steps to make sure that the legacy he's trying to, you know, get out there He's trying to infuse into the world and get his voice heard um, is now carried on by these other younger artists that um, have also been influenced by him. You know, Lil Baby was famously famously said that Young Thug paid him to leave the hood and start rapping. And now Baby is, you know, probably the biggest artist on the YSL roster, even though Baby's not. I know a lot of people told me that Baby is not was signed to YSL, but still, come on, he's part part of the whole wave. So, yeah. That's kind of my thoughts on this. I really want to know what you think about this. How important do you think it is that artists keep a, you know, even personal um, relationship, you know, beyond and deeper than the music um, when it comes to making music? And do you think that this, you know, the YSL roster will continue to have um, an impact and legacy in the future, even when Thugger is gone and it's kind of, you know, passed the torch to someone like, uh, like Gunna in this situation? And do you think Gunna will be able to carry this um, the same way that Thugger did, or even more successfully, maybe. Let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day, and y'all take care.